Yo, what's going on guys? So here today we have the final Alliance War video for I believe season 44. Now there was three wars prior to this that I I'm probably just not gonna upload. Um I'll just tell you guys right now, I didn't die. Nothing crazy happened. It's kind of some similar fights that I've been taking. I just kind of just crushed it. The last three wars didn't have any issues. Uh for two of those wars, I was in Vancouver at the time. And so I had Andrew the Rough, my officer, sitting right next, literally right next to me as I'm doing the fights. And that's like a cheat code, having that guy sitting next to me. Because I just ask him, like, everything. Like, do I bring this? Do I, what's the plan here? Do I do this? And he just tells me, like, every little thing. And it's just, and it's, just it, it's like per, the constant reassurance. And it, it just made it so easy. So, like, literally with, and there's also just added pressure. Like, my officer's looking over my eyes. Like, I need to perform. Like, I can't die in front of my officer, you know? Like, so I just, for all of those reasons, I, I just crushed it. So, yeah, those wars weren't, weren't weren't that crazy. I wish I recorded, like, like real life, like a real life camp perspective of, like, him coaching me, like, mid-fights. I feel like that would have been sick. But it was just the gameplay. I don't, I don't even really feel like uploading it. So, I'm just going to show you guys the last war because this one is eventful. This one is very eventful and uh yeah so there is an hour 14 minutes left and there's there's only seven fights left on the entire map for both sides so it's, it's all down to me um we are winning this war currently by we're up by two so if i die twice it's over if i die once we're good if i don't die at all again we're good uh, and, but I do have a boss fight, a gladiator war boss, rank two seven star. So that's going to be very interesting. I was very excited about that. Um, me and Andy were sitting in the airport together, um, and I was—he was sitting next to me. He was planning this war, and he asked me, "Like, you want to take this gladiator boss with absorbing?" Uh, and I was like, "You know, I did—I did a little duel, um, fought a little duel gladiator with absorb man, like a low star level." And it felt good. It felt really good because in magma form, uh, you can just block the specials, and they try to apply through the block, the pull snap, the incinerate. So absorb it actually just pauses his form. So I was really, really keen for that boss fight. I thought absorb man would do good. But again, there's a lot of pressure here. So I had actually like just woken up because the the, the day before was my big long travel day home. Uh, very long, and I barely got any sleep. So I didn't want to do war while I was sleep deprived. So I waited till I'd gotten home, had a full night's rest, woke up. Normally I don't like to do war in the morning, however, my sleep schedule is a lot better now. Uh, way, way, way better than it was like one to two to three to four years ago. It, it used to be very bad. So, yeah, I, I don't mind as much doing war fights in the morning now. Because, uh, you know, I, I can wake up early like a normal person. Not early, but early for me. Um, so, yeah, I didn't mind too much. However, what I did not realize, like I said, I had just woken up at this point. What I learned about an hour later was that, um, a bunch of people had gotten sick from the event, uh, with COVID. And so I did a COVID test and I, I had a bit of a, a bit of a sore throat. Um, but I didn't think I was like full on sick. But, like as soon as they said they were sick, like I, I honestly, as soon as I just heard that, like I started to feel more sick after knowing that. It's like a placebo effect, but it's real. Uh, and I took a took a test, and sure enough, tested positive. So, yeah, that's fun. That, that's very fun. But at this time, when I was doing these fights, I was unaware that I, that I had COVID. But yeah, here we have a mantis. Uh, this fight, I've done this fight before with Kitty, and it was terrible. Uh, but with Absorbing Man, he is cooking. And yeah, that fight was absolutely no problem at all. And I uh, definitely have some people spectating me because again, this is the final war of the season. We are at this point in Platinum 1, I think rank 8 or something. It's, it, it has not been a kind season to us. Uh, the second last war was against SSX, which happened in Vancouver. And I, 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 one of the Airbnb mates that I had was staying with Bitter Steel. He was in SSX. So literally, my roommate was our war opponent. That was a very fun war, but um, I I crushed my pass. I had no issue. I actually did the fights at the venue, um, and yeah, it, it was no problem. But we did end up losing. So with that loss and only one more left, Masters is seemingly extremely unlikely. If we if we want even a chance, 
to make masters somehow. Like a bunch of things need to co-align. That's extremely unlikely. But for that to even be a, a chance, we need to win this war. <clears throat> so I just have to not die twice. And uh, up until this point, I have not died at all. This entire season and the entire previous season. I've been calling myself Immortal. Immortal Legacy. Because I just have not died. I have not been able to die. I've had a couple close calls. But I've always managed to get out alive. <clears throat> so if you know if I complete this war without dying, that'll be two deathless seasons in a row. And before these last two seasons, I had never even had one. So you know, I really just thought I am fully immortal now. And so far, I have. And I didn't think this war would be any different. So here, next up, we have a future Ant Man. We just crushed a Zemo. So here, if Ant Man has armor, he's going to try to apply shock to us. But of course, Hulkling is shock immune. So we don't need to worry, and we're not even really going to be giving him his armors because I don't want to deal with the glancing. So the way to get rid of those via our pierce, um, or you can always intercept future at man to get rid of them as well. So here, just trying to bait out some special attacks. There we go. Right, we're going to be dropping a big fat special two in a second here. Just going to go for a little heavy. Going to dash back, and then right here, boom, pop this. Unfortunately, he gets some more armors, like right as I about to drop special two. I don't get my Furies. Those got glanced somehow. I, I'm not entirely sure what happened there. That was just like, really? Like, that was just annoying. Uh, it's all good. We're, we're close to another special two. I got some of these stupid disintegration debuffs on me now, which is kind of annoying. But it's fine. We just need to get back to another special two. Pop this one. There we go. Actual double Furies. Now we'll just go ahead and throw the striker. I'm just spamming it here. It doesn't even connect. But throw another special two here. Triple Furies. That is good night to future Ant-Man. And uh, next up here we have a Shuri that um, I almost died to uh, with Hulkling. I, I think I uploaded that. But yeah, this Shuri fight went very terribly last time. Um, so they were... And when Andy assigned it to me, he's like, gonna be okay with that? I'm like, yeah, dude, like, no problem at all. I'm gonna crush that Shuri this time. Like, this time, I know what I'm doing. I'll have no issues. And then the other fight there you see is an Immortal Abomination. So, that was the one fight that, after Andy had gotten on his flight, um, I was just at the airport by myself. He sent me a message online. He was like, hey, man, you know, if you're gonna be doing your, your war fights tonight, be careful about that Immortal Abomination, you know, just with the Conflictor and his own uh, self-applying debuffs, just need to be careful, you know, they just go to a special 3, because even though Hulkling is poison immune, uh, Immortal Abomination can still apply Acid Burn to poison immune characters, so that was in the back of my head, but this fight here, I had, I had absolutely no worries, I knew I was going to crush this, I even threw on a Power Start 1, and a cosmic boost for both of these fights just because i want to get both of these fights over extremely quick i don't want to screw around so i'm gonna go ahead and break shuri's block here make sure i'm comboing into this special two there we go and i'm just gonna toss another one boom bam look at that and then i'm just gonna toss another one five fury special two <coughs> she down no problem like that fight could not have gone any better and you can just see there's a bunch of people watching talking right now it's a good time and so boom here now we get to this mortal abomination fight so this was genuinely like the only fight this entire war that i was worried about especially because like andy you know he sent me a specific message about this fight so okay I, you know i gotta be careful here gotta be managing um his power and you know my goal is to just get in here and get out of here quick I want to just drop, drop some big special twos, you know, try to get like five Furies again cooking, and you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be good. So, here start the fight, take a combo to the face. It's okay, it's not the biggest deal. Uh, here, I mess up, but I just throw the special two anyways, because I know it's going to break his block. Um, and that was an okay start. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, so that, you know, the, the power boost could have done a little bit more. But you know, we're still off to a pretty decent start here, so here he has the bleed. I'm gonna push him back with Intimidate. That was a debuff though, um, so that triggered the Conflictor again. So here, I, I should definitely bait out a special here, but he's at a special too that I parried, so he went red. So boom, I just throw this because you know I don't have time to mess around. It's too late now. He's red, and I don't have an invulnerability boost. I, th I think I should have probably put on an invulnerability boost instead of a Power Star one and just kind of taking the fight slower. But I knew the fight's not over. So let me pause right here. Like, I, I I don't have much time, but the fight's not over yet. 
you know, I still have half my health. It's going to take a little bit of time for me to fully die. I I'm assuming that this acid burn will kill me. Like, I I'm going to be dead. But I, I just need to kill him before I die. He has 30% left. You know, I have two Furies. I have a special two at my disposal. I just need to kill him before I die. We're, it's a race against the clock now. So watch what happens here. Beta Heavy, throw this. You only get one crit. And I die. And I throw the Striker. And I die before it can connect. There goes the Deathless Season. Second one. That, that was frustrating. That was frustrating. Uh, if, th if that striker could have just connected, I think he would have died. If we got like one more crit on the special two, I think he would have died. Yeah, just just unfortunate. Just uh, just unfortunate there. Just going to go in here with Absorb Men for a quick cleanup. I'm not reviving and healing Hulkling for 6%. <laughs> so yeah, kind of frustrating, but again... It's fine. It, 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 that, 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 that death is literally irrelevant so long as I don't die again. So long as I don't die again, nothing changes. We, we still win the war. Uh, yeah, like, the, the, as long as I don't die again. So I'm thinking, alright, it's fine. Let's just shake it off. Let's just go smash this gladiator war boss. It's rank 2. And jump in here with Magma. He has 750,000 HP. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to a mystic boost uh, and also an invulnerability boost just to be safe like i said i probably should have done that for mortal abomination i think i, I would have stayed alive long enough to kill him but it's all good we're gonna put it on now and yeah someone placed guidance here for us which is always nice to just have on boss fights which is our attack but uh yeah so here just starting the fight gonna be taking blocked hits gonna be playing this fight you know fairly slow i will go for some intercepts but i won't be playing too crazy and uh, i don't really don't really care which specials he throws it doesn't matter a ton uh you know his special one does apply a unstoppable which is normally annoying but for absorbing man you know he reduces the duration by like 90 percent so it goes away quick and you know we just get mystic dispersion from it so you can go ahead toss special two in his block why not here i do get hit but again, Instructable Boost, we're fine. Um, I, I'm not sure entirely what happened there, but it's all good. As long as I don't get hit anymore, we should be fine. Hitting a bunch of these light intercepts, keeping our form paused. Everything going great. Take that special one. You see, it gives us some nice uh, Mystic Dispersion. So here, going to combo the Relic into a Heavy Chain Special 2. So if you guys are unaware, they recently made a change to the Relics. Uh, the way that striker stun is like coded in the game so that you know when a, for two prime examples of this is absorbing man and hercules uh when absorbing man uh heavies with the striker when you do a special he gains the full critical rate the full like eighteen thousand or critical rate or whatever it is um before he wasn't gaining the full thing uh and same for hercules now whenever he throws a a, a heavy after a striker he gets two feats of strength before it wasn't acting like that he wasn't getting it, the feet on the first hit because it was counting as like a stunned opponent but now that's not the case so it's technically a buff for absorbing man and hercules and maybe some others but those are definitely the two biggest ones that come to mind with that change so after the special three here i think i just wanted to do that for the thumbnail probably should have thrown another special two but yeah gotta get a, a pick for the thumbnail and yeah a ton of crit rate not the special is bad by any means you can see we we mowed through the rest of his health, no problem. I was not really worried about dying there. Um, it just kind of sucks that uh, I did die of that eyeball. But as you can see here, we still won. Um, so, like, like, like in all actuality, that death does not matter at all. The only person that death matters to, really, is me. <laughs> and, like, my scores. Um, but, yeah. Outside of that, it didn't change, really, anything. So, you know, I didn't have to use a potion. I didn't have to use a revive. Didn't change the outcome of the war. Fine. It's all good. And like I said, later in the day, I found out I had COVID. And I, I, I jokingly said, like, oh, uh, that's why I died. I, I was sick. Uh, you know, COVID disabled my my immortality. You know? Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, unfortunately, the, even though that we, we won this final war, it didn't change anything. Uh, we still placed in Platinum 1, which feels... 10 times worse 
because this is the first ever Alliance War season that they put Titan Shards in the rewards. But, that's only for Masters. So, no Titan Shards. Feels terrible. So, you know, normally I would have a dedicated video opening up season rewards. But, these season rewards are just garbage. And... This is like a 50 second clip because like th this is just nothing like it, it, it was frustrating seeing all these other people having fun claiming their season rewards opening up titan crystals and it's like what can i open some t6 cc crystals great fun like we don't even get the 25 percent selectors we don't get it we don't even get one like, the, the, the reward drop-off from Masters Top 20 to Platinum 1 is just so punishing. It feels horrible. Terrible season. Um, like, we didn't even play that bad. Like, matchmaking, something weird is going on with matchmaking. We went 6-6 six and six this season, so 6 wins and 6 losses. And I'm, I'm fairly certain that there has to be a Master Alliance that also had 6 wins, 6 losses. I don't know, maybe I could be mistaken, but... Like, we didn't have that bad of a season. Um, matchmaking is definitely in, in a weird place. So, I don't know. Hopefully, next season, it they, they do some changes to it. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, it's just very frustrating. Very frustrating, these awards. Missing out on Titan Shards. But, yeah, that's going to do it for the final war of the season. I died. I fumbled the Deathless Streak. Could have been two seasons in a row. <sighs> Sucks. But hey, at least we sold that Gladiator boss. Yeah, that's going to go ahead and do it for this Alliance War video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you'd like to see more content. Drop a like if you want to see more Alliance War videos for the next season. I'm not sure if it's Decay again or something else. But yeah, it's new. Thank you guys so much for watching. We enjoy it. Peace out.